What's up everyone and welcome to a Minecraft Bedrock Redstone tutorial. I'm your host, Omladu, and today I'll be showing you how to build a working basketball goal. Stay tuned till the end of the video and we'll be talking about other things you can add to it, such as the stuff you're about to see. But until then, don't forget to like and subscribe right now for more content later on. Yeah, it helps me make more tutorial videos. Liking and subbing is free, and you can always undo it later on. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Man, this thing is so fun to play, and it is so easy to build. I'm, you don't even need a materials list. I'm just going to jump into it. So you start off by placing a wall, and then another wall, with a solid block on top. Then a temporary block, and a hopper facing down into that temporary block and then a redstone lamp on top like so. Come around to the back, place two decorative solid blocks with a comparator on top. This is all optional, but the comparator will notice things that go into the hopper, so it'll notice when you make a goal. Place a solid block coming out of the comparator, you have to crouch, then place a solid block next to the lamp, and redstone dust on top of that block. Now place a block that you want your note block to play right there with your note block on top. Tune your note block to whatever you want it to play when you make a goal, and now simply jump and throw an item. If you make it in, the light will come on and the note will play, and then you click on the hopper and take the ball out of the net, and keep a going. So you have a few options when it comes to building this. Your first thing to think about is the, the height of your goal, and then whether or not you want flat land or slabs, and then whether or not you want a jumping beacon or not. So if you want flat ground with no jumping beacon, you basically only have one choice. Uh, you can only use the two wall height goal there on the left. Um, that's the only one that you can actually throw a ball into without a beacon on flat ground. But if you want to play on slabs, you can use this three wall height one. Um, it, it, it's pretty hard to make it in but but it's it's still there so you have like a short goal and then like a medium goal um, see it's, it's kinda hard to get it in there but you you can get it up in there um, so it's kinda nice so, so if you want a no beacon really difficult goal go for the slab court and then the medium goal but if you want a jumping beacon, just a regular one, not the secondary jumping boost, just the regular jump boost, that changes a few things. So on flat ground, you now can make that medium goal. It's possible, um, it's just hard. You can't make this one ever on flat ground. Um, even with a full beacon, you just can't get up there. Um, but this medium goal becomes more doable with a medium beacon. Um, I like this. This is this is pretty neat. You can kind of like shoot it far away, and then this this small one you can start to make it from good distances. So if you want to feel like you're throwing the ball more, you know, use a jumping beacon with like a a smaller goal. But if you want that the the highest goal you can possibly do with regular jumping, you use a max beacon, which changes flat ground a little bit. You still can't use this super tall one, um, no matter how hard you try. Uh, but this middle one becomes more usable. You can kind of throw it now at this middle one with a max beacon. Um, so that's nice. If, if you want to feel like you're throwing the ball more, um, this might be a thing. Um, and then, again, this this tall one, you just it, it feels like you can make it, but you just can't get it in there, in my experience. Um, but if you get up on slabs, then you can make it in this huge one. It's kind of neat. Like, it's not the hardest... You know, like some of the other ones, once they activate, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. But this one, it's, it's kind of doable. So, you know, if you want to use a max beacon for this, you know, you can have this really tall basketball goal if you want. Um, this short one now, you can really toss the, the ball in there with a max beacon. Um, and then this middle one. This middle one's my favorite. So really, it's just up to you. If you want to use a beacon or not, or if you want to use a half beacon or a max beacon... Um, personally, I like choices. So I'm going to have beacon controls, and I'm going to use the middle goal so that we have kind of a hard, a medium, and an easy mode via, via beacon levers. And so this is what I came up with. I kind of put these holes in the wall with these levers so you don't accidentally hit them while you're playing. And then flicking one will turn off a torch, which will then turn off a piston. And so the pistons just cover up the beam 
which turns off the beacon power. Um, and then I, I like the only reason the redstone torch is there is so that the light being on means that the uh, beacon is on. Um, but yeah, so then this other little uh, feature that I like is a drop the ball feature. Uh, so kind of like a basketball when they, they throw the ball up and both players jump up for it. Um, that's kind of what I was going for in this. You don't have to decide who goes first. You know, for the very first ball, you just press a button and the both players can jump for it. You know, whoever gets it, gets it. So on the other side of this button, you just run a heavily delayed redstone signal all the way up to the ceiling i ran it through notes so that you can hear it coming and then some lights and some more notes i also use firework stars because they kind of look like basketballs and it kind of gives them like a purpose um, you can also put the button in the middle here um, so that both the uh, players you know standing here can just activate the button you need less of a delay with this one you know with the other design you need a heavy delay so that the player can actually get to the center in time but if the uh, if the activation source is in the center already uh, you know you don't need quite as much of a delay you know just enough for both players to to get ready and anticipate the ball dropping and so to do this let's dig down here and so the button redstone just goes through all these note blocks um just to make a noise and then up here and then up here so it's just it's simple you know there's there's nothing fancy you just run a redstone signal from a button up here to this dispenser. Um, you could use a dropper too, it doesn't really matter. Dispenser just shoots the ball like more or something, I would assume. Um, but yeah, there's 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 that feature. So then you also might have noticed, um, this is the scoreboard from last episode. Maybe you built it, maybe you haven't. I'll put the link to that video in the in the description if you want to build this scoreboard. Uh, but we added an auto feature, you may have noticed. Every time someone scores a goal, it automatically adds a point to the scoreboard. Now, I made it where you can turn it off. So if this is, is turned on, then the auto mode is turned off. So if you make a goal now, then it won't count your score. So if you want to mess around, you know, and have, have full manual use of the scoreboard, that's totally a thing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build this later on. Um... But yeah, if, if this is on and you score a goal, it will automatically add a point to your team's scoreboard. And so to build this, if you built the scoreboard from last episode, this is what you have. And so I started off by just mirroring what I already built on the other side over there. So now you have two scoreboards that share the clock uh, drain. Um, they don't have to share the clock drain, but they can. Uh, that's what I did for this one. It's just easy. You just mirror the last design. So first you need an off switch. So this is going to be our, our off switch. We're going to place two sticky pistons like so with solid blocks of your choice. And that's going to function as our off switch for this um, automatic goalkeeping mode. You can place a redstone on top of that if you want to move your lever somewhere else. But now come over to your goal. So the back of your goal, if you have a note block, break the block really quick. And so here is where the comparator is. Uh, this redstone dust on top that you placed originally. So now come to the bottom and place another block with redstone dust on top and then carry this out all the way to your scoreboard. Wherever your scoreboard is, just run it all the way to your scoreboard. And so you want to run the left goal to the right scoreboard and the right goal to the left scoreboard. So start off by placing a piece of glass with a redstone repeater onto your quote unquote off switch. And then a solid block right there. One of these paths need to go up and the other one needs to go down, basically. So this one's we're, we're going to take it up. Um, so place solid blocks going up a little bit. And now just bring it over. And you're just going to run your path, you know, from the back of your goal all the way to the dropper that adds items to be counted in your counter system. So just run redstone along these solid blocks. Make sure it doesn't interact with anything weird. If it does, just place solid blocks to cut it off or something. Uh, we're going to test it and make sure the path is strong enough. And sure enough, it is not strong enough. So we need a repeater just somewhere in this line. Yeah, it's, it's more than 15. So let's just stick a repeater like right here. This is fine. That shouldn't interact with anything. And so now it should work. Let's test it. 
Let's see, there should be an item in our dropper. Yay! So this gave us one point. So now we just need to run this side to the other other side of the of over here. So you place a glass right here, and we're gonna run this one down rather than up. So just keep placing glass. Um, not all of this has to be glass. I'm just gonna keep placing glass so I don't have to think about it right now. And then solid blocks over here to your path and connect the two. And then run your redstone. And then, let's see, we're going to need a repeater right here so that the redstone doesn't connect. And then right here, and maybe right there. And then fill these in with redstone dust. Yeah, that last repeater you didn't actually need, but that's okay. We're just going to leave it. And now we're going to test it. So there should be an item in this dropper down here. And it works! Yay! Looky there. And that's how you make an automated function to your scoreboard. Super duper easy. You just run like a redstone path from your goal to your scoreboard. That's all it is. It's so cool though. I love it. This is really, really fun. You know, there's tons of different rules that you can play by. You can play like full contact where y'all can both like punch each other all the time. Um, you can play like we're only the defense player or if you don't have the ball, you can punch. Um, you know, there, there's so many different rules that you could do. You could do trick shots with, like, setting up slime and stuff like that. Um, yeah, just, like, go nuts. It's super fun just to mess around with. I really love it. Um, I kind of went nutto with this whole idea, if you, if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, you know, like, let me know what you think of, of this design, of this, of this basketball stadium so far, of, of this idea. Let me know if you build this and, like, play it with your friends on your realm. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures. I've been your host, Omledu, hopefully teaching you a redstone trick or two. And here to remind you, as always, don't forget to have fun. Bye.